Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to discuss uh, moving from DMI TCAT through a co-hashtag graph export into Gephi to create a, a co-hashtag uh, network. Uh, to complete this you're going to need your uh, DMI TCAT analysis uh, page open. Uh, if you don't recall where that is, you can go to the <clears throat> or document or other file where you have saved your login information. And that will be uh, this URL, and then this username, and this password. Um, and you'll also need to have Gephi open, and of course you'll need to have your DMI TCAT. Uh, for this one I'm going to be archiving the Terrence Crutcher uh, hashtag. Uh, this will work best with um, when you are archiving hashtags. I guess it can work for anything, uh, but you know archiving hashtags really works uh, very well. Um, I've got myself a good number of tweets, about 500,000, a little 580,000. I've only chosen a day's uh, worth of tweets, uh, and you can choose something much uh, larger if you'd like. You won't want to get too much smaller than that if you can if you can help it. Uh, and then you would scroll down to networks, and we're going to do a co-hashtag graph. And what a co-hashtag graph does is it maps uh, relationships between hashtags. So anytime two hashtags have uh, been mentioned in the same tweet, there is a edge connected to it and the hashtags become the nodes. Um, and uh, this is a, an undirected graph and this is nice for you can locate issues that are related to it. You can see how uh, people are using similar hashtags together and so on. Uh, there are two options to set a minimum frequency, which is how often a hashtag uh, is used, or to get the top hashtags. And for this, for our purposes, we're going to be using the top hashtags. So just click Launch, and the default here is 500, which is uh, much more than we really need. So for our purposes, I'd like you to choose 50, okay? Um, and then click OK. Now, if you find as you're going through this that 50 is not giving you the results that are really meaningful, then you can up it to 100 or 200. 500 is really a lot. I'll click OK. And uh, it takes some time to download. So I've already gone through that process. And we're not going to sit and, and wait for that. So um, you could do that on, on your own time. OK, so let's go over to Gephi. And we've opened this up. And we could open a new, new project. Open. And I'm going to choose the uh, top 50 file that I've downloaded. Open. Now, when you open this, uh, oftentimes you will get this error. Uh, this is an error that I've notified DMI TCAT about. Um, I guess Gephi should be notified of it as well. Um, it's okay, but you, what you want to make sure that you do is you write down this number, whatever uh, this number is. Please just jot it down because we're going to use it um, in a minute. Uh, notice here that it is an undirected graph, which is what we expect. There are 7,600 nodes with 355 connections. So even though that we, even though we have exported the top 50 hashtags, we still get um, 7,600 nodes. I'm not completely sure why that is. I've asked them a question and haven't received a response just yet. Um, but these are the connections. And I imagine in what's happening is it's giving us all the hashtags, but it's only giving us connections between the top 50 hashtags or what those top 50 hashtags are, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, so click OK, and you will get our Borg-like graph. And so uh, what we need to do now is we need to go into the data laboratory, okay? And you remember the number that you just wrote down. I just wrote down 6,275. So I need to scroll down to 6,275. And we notice that that is the the, the the ID number the ID number for our the hashtag that we have been um, tracking the Terence Crutcher hashtag and we see that it's missing this word frequency multiplied by unique users integer and that's because the number 
that is calculated that is greater than the maximum number that Gethy allows. And the way that is calculated is you take the distinct number of users, which is 311,931, and multiply it by word frequency, 584,821. Okay, so there are this, to this total number of distinct users using that hashtag, and then there are, it is used in terms of, as throughout the archive, 584,000 times. Now, if I were going to calculate that, which I have done, the answer is 182,423,799,351. That is distinct number of users multiplied by word frequency. And if you have gotten an error where you're, you have not calculated, um, or Gephi did not calculate that number for you, in order to fix the error, you need to do those calculations. So you would take word frequency, multiply it by a uh, distinct number of users. Okay. Now I get 182,423,799,351. I try to click enter and it gives me this error message because that number is too big for Gephi. The largest number that Gephi will allow is 999,999,999. Nine hundred ninety-nine million, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred ninety-nine. Um, so if you get an error when your calculations come through, um, you can just delete the number and enter in the maximum, nine hundred ninety-nine, nine nine nine, nine nine nine. Now it might happen that you get two errors, like the two of the hashtags are throwing back an error. If that is the case then um, I would recommend putting in for the one that you know is used the most, the larger 99999, and then just putting in a smaller one like 777 million, seven, something like that, so you can give a different range. Um, if you want to be more precise, you can sort of figure out the percentage differences between the two and then calculate it. But for our purposes, uh, that really is not necessary. Um, so once you have done that, you can go back to the overview, and we've got our Borg uh, area over here. Oops, I need to shrink this down, don't I? And uh, we were going to just basically run the similar kind of statistics and, and filters as we ran uh, in the past. Um, so for the first one, we're going to take the giant component in the filters area, drag it down, and click filter. And we can see that it reduced it considerably. Actually, we now have um, from 7606, we get to 51. Um, but all the edges are connected. So what that's telling me is that um, these top nodes are the most important ones because we exported top 50. It's given us 51 of them. All the other ones were disconnected and just sort of superfluous. Um, Next, what we're going to do is we're going to get our degree range. Uh, you might not need it this time around, as we have in the past. Um, but if you want to filter the degree range, you can. But it will give us something very, very small. So uh, I would just sort of keep it the way it is. Uh, then we can go and we can choose our layout, which again would be like a Yufan Hu. And it squishes everything down very small, so we could change this to 500. And it will bring things out for us so that we can start to see what is happening inside, inside of here. Um, then we go over to our statistics. Um, and we can run the modularity again. And for modularity with something this small, you might need to go below 1. Um, so if I ran one this first time, you can see I only get three communities, which really is not enough to, to learn anything interesting. So I'm going to run, run this again. I'm going to do 0.5, and we'll see how many we get. And here we get five communities, and that, and that could be enough for a small map like we're, like we're doing here. And 
we don't have to do the network di diameter because these are just direct connections, one to the next to the next, because this is a co-hashtag graph, so there are lines connecting two, two dots. So that's really all we need to do uh, for, for this. And once we've completed that, we go over to the area at the top left. Now again, um, you might have, uh, mine says partition, uh, you might have something that says attribute. Uh, so click on attribute, um, and then because it says choose an attribute, um, I would choose modularity class, and you can see I have my five uh, communities. I click apply, and you can see that they're sort of starting to break down um, into pretty clear, distinct areas. Uh, um, and then I would go over to ranking. I'm sorry. I would click on uh, little uh, circles over here, click on ranking, choose an attribute. I'm going to choose degree. And I've chosen a minimum of 10, maximum of 50. Click apply. And I guess I can run my no overlap just in case anything is overlapping. Just a little bit here. Uh, there's another one overlapping there that I might sort of move out of the way just a little bit. Okay. And that is pretty much it. Then I would go to the preview and refresh. <laughs> and then I get this crazy thing. Uh, click on rescale weight. And now I see the, uh, the little more lovely one. I'll expand my lines a little bit. I'll refresh that. Get some nice edges. Um, I got a little overlapping here, which I'm not thrilled about. I might go back and fix that. Um, and then I'll show my labels. Don't want proportional size. And I want to choose this font that I like. All right, click refresh. Hey, sweetie. How you doing? Okay, so now I've added my uh, the fonts that I like, and I can go back and take take a look and see start looking through and uh, what is happening um, at, at these uh, at these nodes and uh, I can start thinking about why what's interesting about these is I start to see that if I'm starting to think about the story of this hashtag is that I've got the say their names hashtag and then most of the um, nodes are the names of uh, men or women who have been killed by uh, by police. Um, killed by police? <laughs> <laughs> My son joined the room, and I probably should not have said that. Uh, so we see that these are all connected. It's interesting that they are also connected to, uh, like, Brangelina. Um, so I wouldn't have to go back and take a look at the at the tweets to see why those are why those are there. Um, I can then just go and I can export it as a file and then you can upload those files or use them as they, as they want. Okay, so uh, again this was a co-hashtag graph from DMITCAT to, uh, to Gephi and uh, if you have any questions let me know. Thank you.